Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video. Today we'll be looking into how we can improve our rack systems by learning about what a hybrid search systems look like. And we'll also look into one of the very popular techniques called reciprocal rank fusion that people often use to merge the results from multiple retrievers while implementing hybrid search in rag. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'll assume you understand what a rag system is and what a typical architecture of it looks like. So let's start from there. So you must know, right, like people usually go about doing vector based search when building these systems, which means you have a document D, you pass it through embedding system. You also have a query Q, you pass it through the similar embedding model. You index the documents into vector database for every query. And again, this is not just one document. You have I number of documents for every query. You fire it, calculate the approximate nearest neighbor based on cosine similarity. And you get to, let's say, top K documents, which you use to generate answer for your query based on the LLM. So that's how the typical rack system works, right? I mean, there are a lot of nuances around how do you index it? Do you want to chunk these documents or not? All of that is again i'll not be discussing that in this video i assume you have basic understanding of it but yeah again coming to my point people usually go about doing vector based search for these systems however solely relying on vector search doesn't always deliver satisfactory results for certain types of queries right so there could be a business requirement that says okay you want to have certain specific keywords to be present in the document which again is not possible with vector search because that's matching that you do at the semantic or meaning level whereas what the requirement is to kind of look at syntax level information so to power your rack systems what people usually do they have multiple retrievers rather than just a vector based system so the architecture of that could look like so let's say you have a query queue for which you want to have an answer from set of documents that you have indexed in your vector db now this time you indexed it in two formats one is you stored its vector representation and also you stored a sparse representation of it which again i assume like it could be bm25 or tfidf representation any sort of representation is good enough for us right so yeah so these are two retrievers or two style of embeddings that you've created per document and indexed it into your vector database now for every query you get in you generate its vector representation as well as sparse representation and do a separate query for this one and for this one as a result you'll get two set of results one is your vector top k and other is your sparse top k right and that's simply because you could afford it because you had the vector and the sparse representation for your queries as well as for every document that you have indexed in the vector database. So this is what a hybrid search system for retrieving documents and powering your rack system looks like. But then the question is, okay, you have K1 set over here, you have K2 set over here. How do you come up with a final set of, let's say, K3 that gets you the goodness from both these K1 and K2? So now we are talking about merging these results. So for this, one of the popular techniques that people use is called reciprocal rank fusion. So let's see what it is. Okay, so we had two set of results. One is K1, one is K2. K1 is coming from vector search or dense vector search, so to say, and K2 is coming from sparse vector search. And let's say each of them give five documents as part of their top k so this is one two three four five so this is how the k1 has ranked its results whereas k2 again generates five results but the order of it looks like three four one two five so what reciprocal rank fusion says is that for every document i their final score is nothing but a summation over all the retrievers where you calculate 1 divided by k plus the rank of the document. Now this k in literature is constant and, and take a range starting from 1 to any higher value. But the default value that you'll find in most of the vector databases that implement this technique is set to a value of 60. 
So for now, let's remove this and understand how intuitively it's working. So if we calculate the reciprocal rank for the set K1, this one is going to get 1 upon 1, which is 1. Now the rank of this document is 1 because its position is first, right? The rank of this document would be second because its position is second in that top K list. So this will be 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and 1 by 5. So these are your reciprocal ranks for these documents for this set. So now similarly you calculate it for the set of K2, right? So here for 3 it is again 1 by 1 which is 1. For 4 it's 1 by 2 which is 0.5. Here you have 0.3 and at last you have 0.2. So now the final ranking for every document for 1 if we see right it would be 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 which is nothing but 1 plus 0.3 which is 1.3 for 2 this gives us 1 by 2 plus from here we get 1 by 4 which is 0.5 plus 0.25 that comes out to be 0.75 and lastly for let's say if you want to calculate for 3 this comes out to be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 1 which is 1 plus 0.3 which is again 1.3 so now you see right so in this example that we made up i mean 1 and 3 have gotten the same reciprocal rank so there's a tie right so you can now go ahead and and choose either 1 or 3 as your first element in the fused list or again depending on if you no prior like semantic or syntactic whichever of the three words has to be given more weight based on that you can push three on top of one or one on top of three because one is mostly driven by semantic retriever whereas three is mostly driven by syntactic retriever so that is how you re-rank your final set of results and and maybe it could look like three one two four five so this could be your final list that essentially goes to your LLM for getting the answers. So yeah, that's about reciprocal rank fusion. So I guess with this, you understand like it's a very simple way of merging the results. There's no tuning as such required. So, so you can easily adopt it to any system, regardless of what domain you're trying to build your rack systems on. So now your question could be, is this the only way for building this system? Clearly, no. I mean, there are a lot of other retrieval fusion methods that are available. I'll try to cover that in the following videos. In the meantime, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also share it across with your friends to whosoever is interested in such videos. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye bye and take care.